Okay, fine. So in the last session, um, we were done some of the introductory uh, part of an emotional intelligence. Now I could see that very few of you were there in the last session. So let's again revise few things about emotional intelligence. So um, can anybody just let me understand by your opinion, what might be the emotional intelligence? Just give me one second. There is a lot of uh, disturbance from outside. I'll just close the doors and come back. Just one second. Yes. Add something about emotional intelligence. Koi bhi bol sakta hai. Kuch bhi. Whatever you think. Ki kya ho sakta hai. Koi bolna chayega? Anything comes to your mind? Jo bhi lagta hai. Aise kuch nahi sahi galat. Jo bhi aapko lagta hai. Ki kya ho sakta hai. Uh, IQ sabko pata hai. इंटेलिजेंट क्वेश्चन एक होता है इमोशनल क्वेश्चन तो वो क्या हो सकता है आपको क्या लगता है आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग योर ओपिनियन और पर्सपेक्टिव रिगार्डिंग दैट इट्स नॉट लाइक अ प्रॉपर डेफिनेशन है कोई भी बताना चाहेगा नहीं क्यों इतना ठंडा माहौल है एम आई ऑडिबल विजिबल टू ऑल ऑफ यू दिख रहा है सुनाई दे रहा है समझ में आ रहा है क्या बोल यस मैम मैम समझ में आ रहा है लेकिन हमें शायद समझ नहीं आ रहा क्या करना है अच्छा ठीक है एनीवेज हमने लास्ट टाइम देखा था कि इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस क्या होता है व्हाई वी नीड टू लर्न इमोशनल इंटेलिजेंस and uh, what are the benefits of understanding emotional intelligence so basics actually in the last session we were covered and today actually uh, it's a next session uh, of whatever you might have done in the last uh, session but yeah uh, i'll make you go through few of the basic concepts also even though you are not there you'll understand everything don't worry about that so let's uh, uh, start with today's uh, uh, session Uh, so in this session we are going to understand regarding the course what all kind of things we are going to see within this course and uh, what exactly uh, emotional intelligence is and what are the different benefits of understanding emotional intelligence um so what will be the key learnings of uh, today's session um, we will understand how to improve emotional quotient to become emotionally intelligent uh, you'll also understand uh, how to use your emotional intelligence for better decision making and also use emotional intelligence for uh, positive impact uh, on you and your business so these are the three basic learnings actually we are going to understand from today's session now let's come back to the definition ki what exactly you may feel when it comes to emotional intelligence so basically you all know uh, right brain left brain uh, uh, that uh, kind of thing we are always listen women on mute don't shout like this sorry 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 ma'am please don't shout okay maine sabko mute kiya to hai jab aapko baat karna hai to aap unmute ho jaiye main dar gayi actually itni zor se chilla hai okay So today's golden statement is: You got to train your mind to be stronger than your emotions, or else you lose every time. So golden statement हमें क्या बताता है कि आपको आपके mind को train करना पड़ेगा emotions को handle करने के लिए otherwise फिर तो सब कुछ मतलब spoil हो जाएगा. Uh, basically बहुत बार ऐसे होता है कि हमें हमारे uh, talent के basis पे uh, बहुत सारे rewards recognitions मिलते हैं. बट एक्चुअली लाइफ में मिस क्यों होता है जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ पुअर ई अगर आप आपके इमोशंस को अच्छे से हैंडल नहीं कर पाए 
तो शायद जो सक्सेस आपको मिला है वो भी आप सस्टेन नहीं कर पाओगे जो पोजीशन आपको मिला है वो भी आप सस्टेन नहीं कर पाओगे रिलेशनशिप में अगर आप अच्छे हो एंड अगर आप इमोशंस को अच्छे से हैंडल नहीं कर पा रहे हो अगेन कोई तो अनम्यूट हुआ है जो मुझे डिस्कस कर रहा है uh, मेरे इमोशंस को प्लीज uh, समझने की कोशिश करो आपको म्यूट पे रहना है uh, जो भी अनम्यूट हुआ है एंड आवाज करना है प्लीज शांत हो जाइए <laughs> मुझे तो सारे म्यूट अनम्यूट ये दिख रहे हैं म्यूट पे दिख रहे हैं फिर आवाज आकर आए ओके सो नहीं ना प्लीज ऑल ऑप्शन की तरह Yes, all मिल गया मुझे। so, uh, फिर से वापस आते हैं And please, अभी unmute मत होइएगा, नहीं तो सेशन ऐसे ही चला जाएगा काइंडली एक्सप्लेन इन इंग्लिश ओके सो यू हैव टू टेल मी बट प्लीज डोंट मेक नॉइज इन बिटवीन सो या ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स आर देयर इन द गोल्डन स्टेटमेंट एंड वी वर देयर कि इफ एट ऑल वी कुड अचीव सम सक्सेस इन लाइफ Uh, if at all we could have some kind of uh, profession success professional success in our life and later on just because something happened and we could not manage our emotion because of that it may happen that we could not sustain for that particular position so generally with the help of your iq you could uh, uh, achieve success but uh, if you could not manage your emotions properly that may be anything regarding your professional life your um, Uh, uh, whatever financial life uh, regarding your health, uh, your relationship, uh, it, it may be any corner or any sector of your life where if you could not manage your emotions properly, actually it may be a very disaster kind of situation. So basically, uh, whatever kind of strength or whatever kind of uh, priority we used to give for uh, IQ, the similar kind of priority we should give to EQ. So nowadays, actually more of the big organization like bell and all actually uh, they are checking uh, uh, people while recruiting based on their eq and not on the basis of their iq even they are not going for the certified kind of qualifications and all <clears throat> if they are enough for certain kind of uh, skills which actually they require actually they going for hiring so nowadays basically eq is getting more and more importance because the research and case study says that if one could not manage their emotions properly it may happen that uh, they may actually spoil their life uh, whatever number of people they go in depression or they go for suicide ending their life ending their relationship ending their uh, organizations or doing something taking break what happens to them actually they might be doing something for taking some efforts for achieving something but actually just because of their emotions whichever kind of negative emotion or emotional state they might have gotten because of that they could not handle their negative state of mind just because of that they just give up some uh, time it's give up from some kind of task or some kind of event but it may be very very dangerous or it may be very very harmful if at all they end themselves that is suicidal cases and all so yeah if one could not manage their emotional proper emotional portion properly or emotional state properly so it may goes to a very very huge extent so that's why we should actually take care of our emotions properly and we should know how to become emotionally intelligent or how to manage our emotions properly so now in this uh, today's uh, introductory session let's understand with the case study uh, basically throughout this course uh, we understand emotional intelligence through uh, uh, for business point of view so business or you may say in the professional world how you need to be more 
uh, uh, emotionally intelligent. So in, term, in that terminology, now let's move on from a generalized term to the specific context that, okay, now we have to see towards the business world, if at all, I would like to be more uh, uh, emotionally balanced kind of personality. So in that case, what are the kind of things required for that? So now let's understand that uh, through one case study. So Sudhir is one entrepreneur and uh, he's actually very intelligent. Uh, he has built a good uh, business empire and he's doing his business very nicely. The only thing is whatever kind of targets he is having or whatever kind of uh, uh, expectations he is having toward his uh, business success or uh, achievements, actually he could not uh, achieve that. So what might be the obstacles for him or what might be the problem he must be facing? So that we have to see. So yeah, this is what is the case. He, so there is an entrepreneur. He is expected some kind of uh, success in his business, but he could not achieve it. So why? So first thing is, first reason why he could not achieve his success because he is poor at building relations with his employee. So he is having a good team of employees, but uh, when it comes to building a personal relationship with the employee, yeah, of course, boss and employee, that kind of relationship is always there. But when it comes to building some kind of personal rapport with them, uh, it is actually very difficult for him, for him and many of the time he is very poor at building such kind of relationships. So that was the first reason. Second reason is he's not able to resolve a conflict properly. As in when it comes that there is a conflict situation, he may run away from the situation or he could not take the responsibility of that conflict and he could not manage it properly. Uh, it may happen that he may lose his temper and uh, uh, he may behave in a certain way which is not expected at that moment of time or not accepted behavior at that moment of time. So it may also happen that he could not actually manage conflict properly. Uh, third reason is he avoid or run away from a conflict situation. Whenever he find that, oh, it's a complicated situation and he could not handle it. So he may run away from the situation and he don't want to take the responsibility of that particular situation. And the next point is he also makes wrong decisions. So yeah, decision making is the most important thing in any kind of business. And uh, if at all, uh, any of the single decision you take, which is wrong decision, uh, you have to pay for it. So basically, uh, these are a few of the mistakes or you may say uh, things happening with Sudhir. Uh, now, these are, uh, you may say, situations or reasons. Now, let's move on. Uh, what are the impacts? If at all, he is uh, doing or could not manage things uh, like conflicts and uh, uh, have building some kind of relationship with employees and all. So what will be the uh, impact of it? So basically, because of that, some kind of negative emotions uh, are getting created in his mind, just like anger, anxiety, hate, sad, sometimes sadness. And uh, because of these negative emotions, uh, uh, now everyone knows whenever any kind of negative emotion uh, come to your mind, uh, basically your energy level goes down automatically. Now, uh, one who don't understand Hindi, don't worry about that. Uh, I have already explained the similar kind of thing I'm going to uh, tell in Hindi. So even though you skip, don't worry about it. So, जैसे कभी होता है ना कि जैसे कोई भी हम गुस्सा हो गया हमें या फिर हमें हम लग रहा है कि नहीं किसी के ऊपर हमें बहुत ज्यादा हेट रेट आ रहा है या फिर जेलसी हो रहा है तो उस टाइम पे देखो आप अगर ठीक करोगे तो आपका एनर्जी लेवल जो है वो बहुत ज्यादा डाउन हो जाएगा मतलब अब आप उतना स्ट्रांग फील नहीं करोगे और वही अगर आप बहुत खुश हो आप बहुत अच्छी वाइब्रेशंस के साथ फ्रिक्वेंसी के साथ किसी के बारे में बहुत अच्छा सोच रहे हो तो ऑटोमेटिकली आपका जो एनर्जी लेवल है वो हाई हो जाता है एंड अगर अगर आप कोई भी निगेटिव इमोशन इमोशनल स्टेट में जाते हो तो ऑटोमेटिकली आपका एनर्जी लेवल जो है वो डाउन होने लगता है तो बेसिकली अगर आपको काम करना है आपको अगर एम्प्लॉई को गाइड करना है या फिर आपको सेल्स परफॉर्म करना है कोई भी टास्क अगर आप करना चाहते हैं अब हर चीज में एनर्जी की जरूरत होती है और अगर एनर्जी डाउन हो गई तो देन वो जो मोटिवेशन है वो ही नहीं आएगा इन इंट्रेंसिक मोटिवेशन जो जिसे हम कहते हैं वो नहीं आएगा वो नहीं आएगा तो काम नहीं होगा काम नहीं होगा तो सक्सेस नहीं मिलेगा तो बेसिकली ऑल दिस थिंग्स आर इन अ साइकिल वे 
and if at all you could not manage one thing properly then everything may get collapsed so basically uh, at certain moment of time when he could not manage uh, conflicts he could not uh, have any kind of good relationship with his employees and all actually because of that stress uh, many of the time these kind of negative emotion uh, uh, was created in his mind so yeah now we are switching to different point but let's first uh, uh, wrap up the case study so in the first slide we were seeing okay sudhir is an entrepreneur he is having some kind of targets in his mind but because he could not manage certain situation he is not achieving his target or he is not able to uh, you may say get those kind of success which he is aimed at or he deserve for so what was those reasons that all were the points which may be handled better if he could have better emotional quotient that is if he could understand the emotion of people what may happen he may actually build good relationship with other people if at all his own emotional quotient is better or his emotional health is stable in that case managing conflict it become very easy or at least you could remain balanced uh, or remain uh, uh, calm cool and calm and take right decision at the right time it's not like just because of hazel wizard situation or you don't know what to do with your emotion you got so much anxiety or you got so much stress or pressure and you could not handle it and then you feel keep doing nothing or taking any kind of wrong decision or speaking some kind of uh, you may say bad words to other and spoiling relationship with them so it may leads to any kind of uh, uh, you may say condition or situation and just because you could not manage that particular situation when something goes wrong so yeah that was all the point and if at all the entrepreneur that is mr sudhir if he would have better a uh, mental health that is emotional quotient then in that case he may manage all the things properly he may take better decision uh, he may have good relation he may have better conflict uh, uh, resolution uh, uh, he may overcome it properly so yeah uh, and that's how he may achieve his success now let's move on to the next topic that is iq versus eq everyone knows iq that is intelligent quotient and everyone knows now that emotional quotient now let's see the basic two differences between these two so when it comes to intelligent quotient uh, is measure of your mental ability so mental ability mein kya kya aata hai aapki linguistic uh, uh, ability kitni hai aapka language ke upar kitna command hai uh, when it comes to again mental ability uh, how good you are in uh, uh, numerics like aapka uh, mathematics ka knowledge ya fir how uh, nicely uh, you uh, work with numbers and all Uh, so yeah numerical uh, capacity logical and reasoning capacity um, linguistic capacity all those things comes uh, under iq that is your intelligent quotient so ye sari cheeze agar aap achhe to aapka acha iq hai and uh, when it comes to eq so emotional quotient is how efficiently you manage your emotions and use them to drive success ab uh, jab bhi koi difficult situation aati hai तब आप आपके इमोशंस को कैसे मैनेज करते हो कितना इफिशियंटली मैनेज करते हो ताकि आप सक्सेस के टूअर्ड जाओ बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ द टाइम क्या होता है कि हाँ आपको एक सक्सेस मिल जाता है जस्ट बिकॉज यू ऑफ योर हार्ड वर्क और कुछ हो जाता है मतलब ऐसी कोई सिचुएशन जहाँ पे आपके इमोशंस के ऊपर कोई वार हो गया या प्रघात हो गया या फिर किसी ने कुछ बोल दिया है ना जस्ट it may not be a very big deal but just because uh, you get hurt or because of that and uh, then you may take some kind of decision which may not be the right decision at that moment of time or you react in certain way and because of that uh, it may leads to the situation which is then uncontrollable for you so taking that right decision at the right time and handling the situation in a positive way uh if at all you would have that skill that uh, shows that okay you could manage your emotions properly and if you don't have that skill means you need to work on your emotional quotient okay so that was the first difference between iq and eq now let's move on to the second difference 
Um, intelligent quotient uh, helps to get admission to good college, good school or university and crack the competitive exam also uh, getting good job and all those kind of things that you can achieve through your IQ. Now, when it comes to emotional quotient, it helps you to face the challenges. Uh, life is a combination of ups and downs. It's not always up, up, up and not always down, down, down. Of course, it's a combination of both things. Now, if at all you get some kind of good uh, situations in your life, uh, you achieve something in your life, of course, tomorrow or day after tomorrow or somewhere around in your life, you may get some kind of situations or certain kind of people also, difficult people in your life that who may ruin your life or make you hurt or whatever thing may happen it may be any kind of thing it may be some health related issue or it may be financial issues anything now when it's a adverse it's an adverse situation or when it's a difficult period of your life how nicely you manage that situation or you cope up with that situation how fast you recover from those negative emotions or those negative situations and come back to your routine that makes you stronger and successful person and the overall balanced person, right? So yeah, when it comes to emotional quotient, if you are having good emotional quotient in that case, whenever the situation goes wrong, whenever the things are not going according to your will or wish, in that case, if you're having good emotional quotient, actually you could overcome those situations very easily and successfully with a positive right kind of mindset. So these are the basic difference between IQ and EQ. Let's move on. Uh, importance of emotional quotient. So if at all you have good emotional quotient, you're, you'll have effective communication skill. Uh, you'll show empathy toward people. You can overcome your stress very easily. You can face challenges. Uh, you can manage uh, situations positively. So these are the benefits of uh, emotional quotient, good emotional quotient. Few more emotional uh, benefits of emotional quotient is it helps you to build personal and professional relationship. Uh, it helps you to stay focused. It helps you to achieve success in your career or in your profession or in your business or in your relationship, your uh, uh, other uh, sort of things like your uh, uh, financial things, your health and all those kind of things. So yeah, these are few of the benefits or you may say advantages of having good emotional quotient or balanced um, um, mental state of mind. So let's move on to the fifth topic of today's session that is role of emotional intelligence or EQ that is emotional quotient. So EQ plays the following role in individual's personality. First is emotional stability. It helps in facing challenges, it eliminates anxiety and it eliminates demotivation. Now, when it comes to stability, of course, uh, there are people who disturb us. You know? uh, there are situations who makes us somewhat disturbed from inside. And because of that, we may lose our temper. We may lose the stability of mind or we don't understand now what to do, what's stuck somewhere, right? So in that case, if a certain kind of situation comes and uh, we need to handle those situations properly, in that case, we should have a actually a good uh, emotional portion. And if at all we have it, then um, mental stability will improve. And because of that, we could sustain to such kind of uh, situations uh, very nicely. And uh, you may also achieve success uh, uh, in that positive sense. So yeah, that is what is emotional stability that even though situation goes wrong, uh, you will not lose your temper and rather than reacting, you will respond to the situation so that you could not uh, get into some kind of difficulties in the uh, future. Then uh, when it comes to challenging situation, challenging situation is something wherein uh, we actually get into the situation maybe some kind of external pressure or some kind of uh, fight or fly or flight situation kind of thing or something which is very dangerous you know a fearful situation bhi ho sakta hai koi life ka challenge bhi ho sakta hai koi health se related bahut hi nazuk si baat bhi ho sakti hai challenge koi bhi ho sakta hai ya fir aapke of course professional life mein koi challenge aa sakta hai 
बाहर की दुनिया से चैलेंज आ सकता है अंदर से चैलेंज आ सकता है घर के जो लोग हैं या फिर अपने जो है उनसे चैलेंज आ सकता है एंड सिचुएशन रॉन्ग हो सकती है तो जो चैलेंजिंग सिचुएशन आएंगे उनको मैनेज करना अच्छे से उसको फोकअप करना दैट्स हाउ एक्चुअली यू मे ओवरकम इवन दैट चैलेंज सो इफ एट ऑल यू हैव बेटर इमोशनल क्वेश्चन यू कुड मैनेज योर इमोशन प्रॉपरली देन यू विल गेट अ राइट डायरेक्शन कि हाउ एक्चुअली ओवरकम दैट पर्टिकुलर डिफिकल्टी और चैलेंज बिकॉज अगर डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन है तो सबसे पहले समझो अगर आपका आप कार के अंदर है एंड आपका कार बंद हो जाता है आप उसको की लगा रहे हो घूम 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 करके उसको लगा रहे हो लगा रहे हो नहीं चल रहा है ना नहीं चालू हो रहा है तो आप हाईवे पे हो एंड हाईवे के बीच में आपका कार बंद हुआ है आपकी गाड़ी बंद हुई तो सबसे पहले आपको क्या करना पड़ेगा सबसे पहले आपको कार से बाहर निकलना पड़ेगा बाहर निकल के हेल्प लेके थोड़ा सा साइड में लेना पड़ेगा ताकि जो बाहर के लोग जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ दैट फाउंकिंग एंड ऑल जो बा, बाकी लोगों को आप रोके हुए हो जिसकी आपकी वजह से जो परेशान हो रहे हैं वो चुप हो जाए तो कम से कम वो शांत हो जाएंगे तो आप प्रॉब्लम को और अच्छे से हैंडल कर सकते हो एंड देन लेटर ऑन यू कैन टेक द हेल्प ऑफ टो मशीन एंड ऑल एंड यू कैन देन टू योर का तो सबसे पहले अगर प्रॉब्लम में रहे तो आप प्रॉब्लम को सॉल्व नहीं कर सकते प्रॉब्लम सबसे पहले खुद को प्रॉब्लम के बाहर निकलना पड़ेगा है ना क्योंकि प्रॉब्लम में रह के प्रॉब्लम का सोल्यूशन नहीं मिलता है तो बेसिकली वेन इट कम्स टू चैलेंजिंग सिचुएशन और प्रॉब्लमेटिक सिचुएशन फर्स्ट थिंग इज यू हैव टू फील दैट प्रॉब्लम इज डिफरेंट एंड आई एम डिफरेंट एंड यू नीड टू कम आउट ऑफ दैट प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट एंड लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम एज अ थर्ड एंटिटी कि दिस इज वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम आई एम नॉट द प्रॉब्लम सिचुएशन इज द प्रॉब्लम है ना पीपल आर एक्चुअली नॉट द प्रॉब्लम वॉट काइंड ऑफ कंडीशन माइट हैव कम अक्रॉस विद दो पीपल दैट इज वॉट इज द प्रॉब्लम सो फर्स्टली let's look at the problem as a third thing which i need to sort out first so first we need to come out of it and then we have to just look out to it as okay now this is the situation this is the trap how to come out of it what are the ways to come out of this if it, even though it's a mess there may be some kind of ways you know different doors will be there which may leads to different ways so first thing you need to come out of that and that kind of uh, feeling or that kind of uh, understanding you'll have it will have good emotional quotient and of course uh, it will eliminate your anxiety or whenever situation goes in a demotivated state it will help you to come out of such kind of situation so that is role of emotional intelligence a balanced personality a person can get balanced personality when he or she focus on iq as well as eq दोनों पे ध्यान देना पड़ेगा सिर्फ एक पे ध्यान देने से नहीं होगा अ पर्सन विद बैलेंस पर्सनालिटी मेक द राइट डिसीजन एंड इंक्रीज द चांस ऑफ बिकमिंग सक्सेसफुल सो बैलेंस पर्सनालिटी किसे कहेंगे जिसका आईक्यू एंड एज वेल एज ईक्यू भी बहुत प्रॉपरली वर्क करता है एंड वो राइट डिसीजन लेता है राइट टाइम पे उसका जितना आईक्यू है उतना उसका ईक्यू भी है उसे हम बैलेंस पर्सन कहेंगे तो एक मिनट से कम टाइम है हम थोड़ा सा फास्ट जाएंगे इस स्लाइड पे so perceiving emotion so at this level you check how you are feeling in a particular situation or what type of emotion you have in a particular situation so sabse pehle us emotion ko samajhna ki ek particular situation pe mujhe kaisa lag raha hai kaisa feel ho raha hai reasoning with emotion at this level you identify why you are having a specific emotion in a specific situation pehle aapne understand kiya ki mujhe kaun si situation pe kaisa emotion aa raha hai dusre case mein aapne use रियलाइज किया आइडेंटिफाई किया एक्नोलेज किया कि अच्छा ये है मेरा इमोशन फिर थर्ड सिचुएशन पे आपने क्या किया उसे अंडरस्टैंड किया सो अंडरस्टैंडिंग में क्या होता है दिस लेवल यू अंडरस्टैंड योर इमोशन इन अ सिचुएशन कि सिचुएशन ऐसी हुई तो मेरा ऐसा इमोशनल स्टेट हो जाता है अब आप उस लेवल पे पहुंचो कि आपको अंडरस्टैंडिंग आ गया एंड लास्टली इट कम्स टू मैनेजिंग इमोशन सो एट दिस लेवल यू मैनेज योर इमोशन एंड ड्राइव देम टू टू गेट अ पॉजिटिव रिजल्ट तो पहले तो उसको रीजन करना पड़ेगा फिर उसको समझना पड़ेगा फिर अंडरस्टैंड होने के बाद आपको उसको मैनेज करना पड़ेगा तो वो चार स्टेप में होता है अब अगर आपका हाई इक्यू है वर्सेस लो इक्यू है तो फिर कैसा होगा तो वो फटाक से देख लेते हैं हमें फिर से ज्वाइन नहीं करना है मुझे लगता है ये लास्ट ही स्लाइड है तो डोंट वरी इवन दो वी मिस आउट समथिंग नो प्रॉब्लम अगर आपको कुछ डाउट्स एंड क्योरीज है तो मुझे आप बात में कनेक्ट कर सकते हैं okay so better decision making and problem solving ability hoga remain cool under pressure resolve conflict better greater empathy 
listen reflect and respond to constructive criticism these are all things will happen if you have a 